for initial assembly of your Hobie, remove the parts from the box and identify them using your owner's assembly manual. Each item is identified by name in the manual. Spread the parts out in an area where you can identify each item and position it to assemble. Place the hulls on the ground, graphics down, port and starboard in their proper orientation as shown. There are two trampoline systems available for the Hobie Wave. This video only shows the Club Wave trampoline. For information on the Wave SE model or cartoppable model trampoline, refer to your owner's assembly manual. Locate and arrange the trampoline halves as shown near the front crossbar. Grommets go down the center of the trampoline and across the back. Slide the trampoline halves into the front crossbar as shown. Pull the trampoline halves close to the center of the crossbar but not all the way together, about four inches apart as shown. Identify the rear trampoline lacing strip. Please note that the grommets are different from top to bottom. Here are the top of the grommets and the bottom of the grommets. Identify the rear crossbar. The top has an eye strap and the bottom has plates that rest against the hull. Slide the rear lacing strip into the rear crossbar. Slide the rear crossbar into one of the hulls, Porter Starboard. Make sure that it fits all the way into the hull until it reaches the stop on the bottom of the rear crossbar. Then slide the front crossbar into the hull. Be sure that it fits all the way in until it reaches the stop on the bottom of the crossbar. Reach up to the crossbar and rotate the hull into the upright position. Position the opposite hull to align with the crossbars and then rotate it into the upright position. Slide the hull onto the crossbars as shown. Be sure that the hulls are seated tightly against the crossbar stops as shown. With the hulls seated firmly against their stops and the crossbars, pull the trampoline outboard till it is flush against the hull. Feed the main trampoline halves, either port or starboard first, makes no difference, into the side tracks. One person should pull towards the track, the other should feed into the track. It's recommended to use a water-soluble lubricant in the tracks or on the trampoline when trying to install trampolines in these tracks. Use Windex or some light liquid soap as best. Do not use an oil or non-water soluble lubricant as it will remain in the track and possibly cause the trampoline to pull out of the track. Repeat the process on the opposite side. Pull both trampoline halves tight to the rear of the boat. Now you're ready to begin lacing the trampoline. Begin at the grommet on the starboard side of the trampoline with a bowl and pass it to the port side down through the grommet. Proceed as shown. Continue lacing towards the aft of the trampoline as far as the lacing line will go. The lacing line will extend further once the trampoline is laced tightly. Snug up the center trampoline lace lines as shown. Begin the rear lacing at an outboard grommet at the rear lacing strip. Tie the line with a boland to the grommet. Pass it forward, down through the first grommet, aft to the lacing strip, up through that grommet, and continue the lacing as shown.
repeat the process on the starboard side of the boat, lacing the trampoline from the starboard hull towards the center. Continue until you reach the center and tie off as shown. Return to the outboard ends of the lacing line and now tension the trampoline fully, pulling up on the lacing line, working your way back towards the center of the trampoline. Once it's fully tensioned, tie off the lines with half hitches. It may be easier to tension this line by laying beneath the boat below the trampoline area. Place one foot against the hull and pull the line towards the opposite side. Identify the bridle wires and the bow tang eye straps. Position the eye straps on the bow as shown, angling towards the center line of the boat. Install the bow tang eye straps with the screws provided. Use a small amount of Loctite on the threads to keep the screws from backing out. Before installing the second screw, turn the eye strap sideways and tuck the bridle wire within the eye. Install the second screw. Repeat on the opposite side. Attach the forestay adjuster with the shackle as shown. Pin the shroud adjusters to each hole. Place the clevis pin in such a way as that the ring is on the inboard side. Slide the black vinyl boot over the shroud end. Pin the wire to the seven hole adjuster and then slide the black vinyl boot over the pin and the entire adjuster. Roll the sail out onto the trampoline. Identify the leech lines or batten adjustment lines that are tied at the head of the sail, the very top of the sail. Tie one of these leech lines to each of the grommets on the small flap at the back edge of the sail. Identify the sail battens, longest to shortest. We start with the longest batten in the bottom pocket of the sail. Please note that the batten end caps are not the same on each side. There's a cleating side and a rounded side of each batten cap. The rounded side of the cap should face towards the leech line that you have tied to the grommet. Insert each batten into the sail. When the batten is fully seated into the pocket, pass the leech line up through the batten cap through one of the two holes to the grommet on the opposite side. From that grommet, come through and pass through the cap's opposite hole to the original side's grommet. Pass through the grommet and then back out and to the cleat. Tie a small figure eight knot in the end of each of the lines. The batten caps allow for adjustment of tension of the batten in the sail. What you want to do is remove small wrinkles from the batten pocket area. Pull just enough tension to remove the wrinkles. Pass the line through the cleat. Then pass the line underneath itself to lock it in place. Please note that the configuration of the cap for the smaller batten stock is slightly different and cleat as shown. There is no need to leave tension on the battens when the boat's not going to be sailed. Tie the downhaul line with a bowline to the forward lower grommet in the sail. Attach the mast float to the masthead fittings. Be sure that the blunt end of the float is forward on the mast. Attach the main sheet cleating block to the rear crossbar as shown. Thread the line through the block and the upper block with the hook as shown here. You're now finished with the initial assembly 